Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing Dreadful Meadows. Uh, you can see here the box from VFI and uh, well let's just start taking everything out shall we? So this seems to be the biggest pack. All right. I'll just put this to the side and there's one smaller, well several, this is empty, several smaller packs. There you go. So let me just get rid of all this and then we can uh, continue. Okay, so this was in the box. First of all, we have Dreadful Meadows, the base game, then the Tricks for Treats expansion, then also uh, pins and other stuff, and then Shelfie Stacker bonus cards. Uh, we're just going to start with these bonus cards real quick to get this out of the way. I don't own Shelfie Stacker. I don't know if it's going to make me get it, but whatever. So these are the backs, different colors, and then there we go. The front is basically all the same. So yeah, anyway, so that's out of the way. So we will start with the base game and then move on to everything else. I'm first going to take off the plastic. Dreadful Meadows, designed by Lucas Adam and Arcus here. So let's take a look at the sides. So. This is what that looks like. I know it's a bit too close, but whatever. So here we have the details. So Arcus, one of four players, 45 minutes time, 30 plus ages, and one mode solo. And then here, it is very cute. And then the other side, finally. Same info, of course. And this is the back of the box. All right. And then let's uh, flip it over and open it up. I don't think there'll be art in the... Well, maybe. Maybe there might be. No, there won't be. I already felt it. No arts. But that's okay. I'm going to put it like this for later. People who often watch this channel know why. All right. Apparently we start with the board. It doesn't happen very much. So that's the first thing. Ta-da! Look at that. It's cool, right? Really thick too. You can see it, right? Nice quality. And uh, the back looks like this. It's a really cool quality board. Then we have the rule book, and this is why I put it like this, of course, so you can easily open a rule book. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to read all this, but if you can pause if you want to. But the art is, is really, really cool. So meet the confectioners. So each one of them has a little backstory. That's cool. And also explaining their ability. Deluxe edition, which this is, the components. Okay. Set up for the game. Aim of the game. Purchasing patches. Placing a sugar sprite. Purchasing a harvester and placing it to get more candy. Retrieve the sugar sprites. Concoction cards. End of the game. And then, of course, the solo mode. Okay. And also have uh, mode goals and top tips for your candy biz. All right. And then even more clarifying the confectioner abilities. That's cool. And then this is, uh, thank you for playing. We hope you had a dreadfully good time. And also watch how to play, play it online and so on. All right, cool. Then we have uh, punch boards. These are less thick than the uh, game board, but still thick enough, like for example, here we go. They're pretty good. Dreadful three and dreadful tree and pumpkin pops. Here also pumpkin pops and treacle teeth. Okay. And then we have more treacle teeth and the uh, phantom mallows. Phantom mallows. Okay. Then the phantom mallows and the gummy globs. All right. People who are good at like uh, pastry, desserts and everything and candy making can actually make all this so you can eat it while you're playing. Anyway, so then this says, okay, this is the acrylic stuff. So let's open it up. It has some text on it. You can see the standees already. So these are obviously the standees. They are very thick, very thick. 
So see if I can get one out of there. There we go. It doesn't have any protective layer, I think. Not that I can. Oh, it does. It does. It does. It does have a protective layer. All right. So let's see if I can quickly get this off to show you guys. Yeah, there we go. Comes off pretty easily. Of course, I think it's on both sides. It is. So it's going to be a little bit of work. All right. There we go. So it's nice and transparent. So I'll put this on the side for a second. And then we have these guys and they sit. Okay. There is a protective film on both sides of these acrylic harvesters and the basis. It can be gently peeled off. All right. So let's take one of the harvesters and peel that off and then try and fix it to its base. Okay. Gently. There we go. Ten, 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 ten. Looks nice, right? So this is only one side, no? Oh no, it's set on both sides. So I guess there's something here as well. Trying to get it off. There we go. For a moment I thought I was actually peeling off the image. That would have been horrendous. Okay, this one peels off a little bit more difficultly. But it's coming off, just a little bit more attached to this one. So, pretty sweet. And let's see how easily attached to the base. Be really sad if I now break it and be like, oh my God. No, nope. clicks in nicely. Great. All right, let's continue. Then we have the bag, the super naturally good candy crops, sinister seeds, hybrid MMO. ADLBS, Dreadful Meadows, Candy County. All right, so people who want to see inside the bag. I can't really tell, it's too dark. I'm not going to turn it inside out, I'm sorry. The characters. Aha, so we have Jack. Ignore all market costs when purchasing patches. And it's double layered, you can easily see it, right? And here as well. You may never purchase more than one patch per turn. Okay, cool. Then we have Luna. Treat patches as any chosen type when retrieving sprites. And on the back, ignore one sprite bonus when retrieving sprites. Nina, gain the corresponding sprite bonus of the first patch you place after purchasing. Nina immediately takes an extra turn after you or Nina purchase a harvester. Igor, generate candy on patches where you place sprites and where harvesters are activated. Generate one fewer candy of your choice when placing sprites. Then we have Leaf. You may place sprites onto patches containing other sprites. And Dreadful Tree Candy cannot be used for concoctions. Unfulfilled concoctions score negative points. Okay, then we have these very nifty trays. Okay, they all open separately, I think. Yeah, and I'm guessing that's where all this stuff comes in. Okay, so let's take a look at it now. There are some pieces that are bigger than the rest, like for example this, which I imagine... Oh, well, imagine. I don't have to imagine anything. Let me just quickly check at the uh, component list. Like these things here, there are sugar sprites of different colors. All right, so I'm just going to put it all in here and take some stuff out. So we have the sugar sprites. We also have uh, all these smaller things. These are the wooden candy pieces, which correspond to the patches we've seen before, all right? So you see, they look pretty cool, all of them. Let's see if there's something, some examples of the other sprites. So we have the brown one here, uh, a green one, and then we're still missing a couple, a purple one, and then it's, one more, I think. There's supposed to be five. I'm missing the cat green like sprite. Which are oh, here? This one. There we go. These are all of the different ones, I think. I'm not sure if I have all the candy. I think so. If I'm missing one, I am very sorry, but I don't really see what I'm missing if I am missing anything at all. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it back here for now. Inside there's also a pin. The pin is the winner's pin. So if you win the game, you get to pin it on your chest. The sweetest supplier, Dreadful Meadows. Cool. Then we also have a 
score scoring pad. Okay, cool. Then we have a bunch of cards, and I think they should open easily here on the side. Let's see if I'm correct or not. I am kind of like correct. It definitely opened, but okay, here it is. There we go. All right, let's take a look at the cards. These are the backs, I imagine. Yeah, they all have the same back. Well, not all of them, because no, these are not the backs. These are the backs. Okay, so I guess these are the concoctions that they're talking about. You need to have all these and then score the points, most likely. So art-wise, the cards are nothing special. I mean, the pot looks good, but it's always the same pot, so. And then these, of course, are the player aids. All right. So, here we go. All right. So let's take a look underneath the insert. Sometimes there's something there, sometimes there's nothing there. In this case, there's nothing there. Uh, okay, so that is the end of the base game. I'm going to clean everything up and then uh, we'll uh, go over to the expansion. Right, the expansion, Dreadful Meadows, Tricks for Treats. So let's take a look at the side. Okay, doesn't really change anything here. Dreadful Meadows. There we go. And then here, this is the back. Let's see what's inside. If I can open it, it's probably going to be a challenge. Okay, I got it. I think, yes, I got it. Yeah, what the? Come on. Okay. Whew. All right, first in the rule book. All right, components. All right. Module, there's just different modules, module two, module three, module one, and the cards overview. All right, then we have to assemble this later on. Okay, then we have the tricks for treats. Then we have this here, these, there's two of those. Okay, and then this part, so it'll all be assembled later on. Okay, then we have some cards. Let's take a look at the cards first. So they all have the same backs again. This time it's yum yuck, yum yuck, yum yuck. All the same, but of course, not the text is different, of course, but the graphics are the same. So, then we have all of this. Now, I wonder, I'm guessing this will not fit in the main box, it seems to be a little bit impossible. First of all, we have got more of these tails, all right, and then we have an acrylic figurine. There we go. Of course, you have to peel it off again, the protection. And then here, this one, Sinister Seeds. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna open the last little package. All right, so there's some good news and maybe some not so good news. The good news is that this uh, tower this dispenser looks really awesome, assembled, as you can see. Really, really sweet. And this is how the patches, they will be in there and then you can take them from there. Um, the downside, however, is that there's no way you can go back in any of the boxes. <laughs> it's too big for uh, the main box, it's too big for the uh, expansion box. And also this thing is like flapping in the wind and I do think I installed it correctly, it's just, you know, loose. Um, I guess you could always take the sides off, but then if you always do that, it's gonna have wear and tear, right? So I'm inclined to just leave it out and just 
put it somewhere or whatever for whenever I'm going to use it or not. Um, so yeah, um, let's move on. Oh, wait, wait, before we move on, this is the other one. Yep, this is very simple to assemble. And there's actually a link in the, uh, in the, um, I was going to say the menu, in the rule book uh, where you can assemble it and how you can assemble it and so on. So check that out. Okay, now let's go to the final piece. Okay, so this is the final pack. Uh, some Kickstarter extras. So we have the stickers. All right. Pretty cool. Will most likely go to my daughters. And uh, then we have a patch for clothes to iron on. And then we have the two pins, uh, Luna and Jack, animal pills, pins. Okay, that is it. Um, and to finish off, I will show you how I uh, reboxed the main box. I was going to wait for the expansion, but it's quite obvious the expansion. Well, the, the, the dispenser doesn't fit. The other two might fit, or uh, some of it might fit. But anyway, this is how I reboxed it. So you have the uh, manual, the bag, the board. And then here, uh, to pay in mind, uh, there are some things that might be wrong. So here I have these. And on the left side for the expansion can actually go the expansion cards here. Because there is space. Here are the other cards. Here are the tiles. Now, the uh, gummy gloves, they have the most patches, I should say. The most patches are gummy gloves, so they go here. Second most uh, are the phantom mallows, so they go there. I think they actually tie with the treacle teeth, and they're here. And then we have the pumpkin pops there, and here it is the dreadful tree. Here we have all the harvesters, and I guess you can also easily add uh, her to the mix. Um, the pin goes here, and then underneath the uh, treats, we have the score pad, and then there's room for all four of these, but not for five. I cannot fit the five, the, 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 other, the other ones in there, so I put them here. I don't know if it's supposed to, but I don't know what else goes in there. So I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be. Um, so this, I guess you could put maybe on top, but it'll cause some lift, um, but we'll see. So this goes on top again. Then we have these guys that go here. All right. Then the board, and you can see this has to go here. Otherwise it'll clash there. Um, so let's see if we can actually fit this here. I'm afraid not, I don't think it's gonna work. No. Um, so once again, either you keep it on the... I don't really see how that can go in anywhere, honestly. Um, so yeah, I guess leave it for now. You can easily sleeve these cards. There's more than enough space. So this goes here then, I suppose. You can also take it apart again. It's not too easy. But once again, if you take it apart, uh, it's going to cause wear and tear of taking it apart, putting it back together and so on. These ones... Actually, I forgot to put in. You can easily put them... Uh, well, I guess you have to put them here because there's no... You can put like single ones here, but then they're going to be divided over the whole place. So just put them there. That still fits nicely in the bag and the rule book on top. And then that's done. So there's Dreadful Meadows with the expansion. So this way I'm not using the expansion box anymore. Sorry, this should be in there as well, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's done. Um, thank you very much for watching. This was uh, so many games for the time, and I was working, and always will be. Bye bye.